Hey guys, welcome back to A. Taylor AI1 or Amy's Kitchen. Stevie is my cameraman who's stealing the Gruyere cheese. That's pretty good stuff. I know. <laughs> okay. That's why I grate more than I need because I know little fingers are going to come steal <laughs> stuff. Okay, we're making a two potato uh, gratin, gratin, which is just um, cheesy potatoes. So I have one sweet potato and one regular potato. This will make enough for at least four people, maybe more. Um, you can double the recipe if you want. Um, a good three-fourth cup of uh, Gruyere cheese. This is the Gruyere. This is a Swiss Gruyere cheese. Um, you can find it over in the deli section usually. So I grated that. I have about three-fourths cup of milk, one cup of chicken stock that I made, I have some onion, about half a cup of just roughly cut onion, two cloves of garlic, I have some nutmeg that I'm going to put in, I have some salt and some pepper, some parsley flakes, some oil, and some flour. So we're going to make a roux first. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the oil. I just took it off because it has been heating on medium heat over Because it went the boom. And fire came out. Mm -hmm. And you really just want to make sure that your roux is proportionate. So I had one little cup full of the oil, and I have one cup full of the flour. So equal parts. You can use butter if you want. Um, I just chose to use um, canola oil. You can use vegetable oil. You can use butter. So this is still very hot already so I'm going to turn my heat down and I'm going to just mix this until the roux turns um, beige. I don't want it brown. I just want a light roux to it. So I'm going to let that cook for about one minute. So, um, By the way with the potatoes while this is cooking you do need to par cook your, your potatoes. You can either put them in the microwave for um, maybe like five minutes together or um, what I did was I already cooked the chicken I did a regular uh, baked what I call a orange tinted chicken because of the way it comes out looking orange you'll see that in the end and uh, I just threw the potatoes in for 30 minutes with the chicken that was in for Bruce. Bruce. So now no, at this point it is not. I'm going to add, oh, I'm sorry, half a cup of chicken stock and whisk this in. See, like now some chef is doing it step by step from what you said. You could have just messed up the full dinner. Why? Because you told them wrong. Right I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll correct it in the annotations. And then I want to add the three-fourths cup of milk. You sure it's three-fourths? Yep. That's a cup measure, and I did it to the three-fourths of a mark. So now we're going to let this come up to a quick uh, boil, and then we're going to add our Gruyere cheese. So now we're ready. As you can see, we've come up to a good simmer. We're going to go ahead and turn this off, and then we are going to add cheese. our cheese. Is this the fondue? No. no. We're having chocolate fondue for dessert here. That's just, this is the base for our potatoes. Ooh. So now we've made our Gruyere white sauce. Really what you could call this. We're going to add some, the garlic to the Gruyere. Don't worry, it'll incorporate. So... <clears throat> Now, put that over there, get my spray. This is a 13 by 9 pan. It is non-stick, but I'm still going to spray it really well. So I Stevie, want to be too careful. So Stevie doesn't want to have to do any more work than what is required of him in dishes. Mm. Now we're going to take our partially cooked potatoes. Partially cooked? Yeah, they're partially cooked. I wish I could use a small. Can I cut it? Here, you hold the camera. I want to cut it. Okay. It's better than just holding this camera. See here. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting ingredients. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. we got to add in 
some of our nutmeg, which you know, they won't. whenever I'm making a cheese fondue or making a white sauce of any type, I put in uh, some nutmeg, just a couple of good grinds. Um, it just really brings out the flavors. You know, Mom, you're making some chef that's doing this stuff. I, I know, really I know, it, but they up. understand. Um, some pepper, about one fourth of a teaspoon, and just about a one fourth of the salt. Okay, now you can finish cutting the potatoes. Yay, knives! Oh, God. <laughs> Not that thin. <laughs> That's perfect. Show it. Mm, yeah, see, like this. Well, show the edge, dude. The... Oh, look, you see? There. No thinner than your pinky. No thinner than your pinky? Yes. Yeah, Half the size of your pinky. Okay. You see? You see? You see? Okay, I'll take so this bigger now... piece that he cut and whittle Slice it down it. a little bit. Yeah, because I don't want to watch two of these, like Mom said earlier. Oh, no, you could have told me to do that, and I would have just done it. You it. couldn't handle knowing if it was thick or thin. <laughs> then I got, How the, am hang, I supposed then I got to... the hang of it. I need to get a smaller pan. So We're going to switch to a 8x8 pan. Glass. Well, it just happens to be glass, but that's if you're going to double the recipe. Then use that one. So, you did what I was trying to avoid doing. Yep, more dishes. Okay, I can cut this. I can cut <sighs> Come on. I'm gonna have a little fun. Fine. Cameraman, yeah, I know, you get to hold the camera. Come on. Alright, now Stevie's gonna do it. Too thick. Too thick? Yeah, try to go a little bit thinner. Like this? Yeah. Too big. That's alright. Don't worry about it. Just. It's, it'll be fine. It's hard cooked anyways, so... <laughs> you're just going to mess some chef up one day. No, I mean, yeah, one you're day doing gonna, good. Yeah, one day... You're doing good. Stop talking about the imaginary <laughs> chef that's going to be... One day... <laughs> if he's a chef, why is he watching my videos? <laughs> because you're a chef and you're doing chef demonstrations. No, I'm cooking a home-cooked meal to do that it. people... Maybe. You're showing how to do it. That's simple. No, it's, yeah, exactly. You're showing how to do Be it. Be careful doing that. Do not cut your feet. Don't press it down. You got to hold it up. Oh, put it on the cutting board, dude. But I got it. Don't worry. That's what worries me. <laughs> no, one day there's gonna be a chef, and he's gonna think, "All right, well, I wonder how to cook this." Go on YouTube, look up steps, find your video, and half the time he's gonna be going, "Oh wait, we're not supposed to add that much. Oh wait, it's not supposed to be this thick. Oh wait, it's okay." All right, all and right. And you're going to confuse them. Well, you're doing fine, so I figure if you can do this, anyone can do this. What's Ben doing in the thing? That's way too thick. Do not try to thin that down. I will. Or just leave it. No. Can I start doing it this way now? Yeah, you can do it that way now. There you go. William, I'll have some of this put up in the refrigerator for you. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I think I heard an okay on that one. Yeah, it is So like now faint. we're just going to throw all these in. We're also going to throw in our onions. Not the big chunk right there. Just mm, what, leave the, the big one just out? Kind of toss them. You can toss them around with your hands to mix them up. Oh, it feels so weird in here now. I mean, just don't mash them. Just... All right, now what? Now you're gonna pour our sauce over it. All of it? No, just, yes, all of it. <laughs> oh, come on! You're about to make a funny joke. I was. Yes. Now, as this heats up in the oven, the sauce will become thin again, and it will coat all the pan. Okay, don't need to let it all go to waste. soak that in water. Okay guys, we're going to put this in the oven at 
375 degrees for approximately one hour, and we are going to cover it. And that's okay, it guys. Now. This is our finished um, sweet potato, regular potato, or two potato gratin. Very cheesy, probably not the most healthiest of side dishes, but it does taste very good. So now we're just going to plate some onto our plate here. And that is our finished dish. Um, Stevie, you want to taste it? It's good. It's good. Okay, so that is the two potato gratin. So, um, with that recipe out of the way, live, love, and eat, and we'll see you back soon.